Okay, guys, we have a brand new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Rose Metals Eyeshadow Palette. Let's swatch it, let's try it, and let's see if it's actually worth the hype. Comes in this really pretty metallic packaging. You've got all the info on the back there, obviously. This one will set you back 55 USD, which I believe is exactly the same price as their last release, the Nouveau. And I'm gonna be showing you these side by side because if you bought this one, you're probably gonna wanna know whether or not there's any repeat shades. I've not actually seen this in person yet, so we're gonna be seeing it for the first time together. I will just say on the ABH Instagram, <sighs> It looks incredible. Ooh, okay, so it's very metallic looking. Oh, she's a shiny moment. We're doing it, okay. <gasps> no, no, it's beautiful. Does anyone else find this so satisfying? <laughs> oh, look at this. This is seriously pretty. So apparently this palette is inspired by 90s glam. It's definitely very luxe looking. All of the tones in this are quite rich, obviously lots of metallics hello there's metals in the name but then there's also some really pretty rose tones in there as well i wouldn't necessarily call it a cool tone palette but i also wouldn't call it a warm tone palette i feel like this one sits nicely in between here's a little close-up look at the shades and the textures seriously we've got mattes we've got shimmers it looks like we've got like a real crushed metal kind of a texture i mean it looks really really pretty it does. The packaging has a magnetic closure as well, which feels really nice. And then there's a nice big mirror in there as well. You guys know I always bitch about palettes that don't have mirrors. Because if you want to travel, it makes it so hard. Now, I'm going to be doing swatches and I'm going to be creating a look with a palette. And I just want to let you know, this is not sponsored. Uh, all of the reviews that I have seen of this palette so far have been paid posts. You girls not sponsored. So you're gonna get the full tea on whether or not this is actually worth your money. Now let's have a quick look at what it looks like in comparison to the Nouveau. Size-wise and design-wise, these palettes are exactly the same. Ooh, okay. I feel like there's definitely actually some crossover of shades with this one, you guys. So maybe if you do already own the Nouveau, maybe you might give this one a miss. Here they are side by side. Some of those taupe shades sort of look similar and so do some of those browns. And maybe even like the shimmery sort of goldy green color. Like I'm definitely seeing a fair bit of crossover. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. Now the fun part, let's have a look at some swatches of this. The colors are really rich looking, very luxe, very metallic. So we've got a really interesting blend of textures in this palette for sure. Some of the shimmers are satin. So like this first one, here you could almost be mistaken to think that it was a matte shadow. The shimmers have varying textures as well. Some of them are like extra shimmery, almost like crushed metals. And then some of the other ones are sort of more pared down. I will say the cooler tone mattes were a little powdery when swatching, but obviously swatches aren't everything. So something might look one way in a swatch and then it might look completely different on your eyes. So yeah, overall really, really nice colors. Definitely a mixture of cools and neutrals and warm tones. So I feel like there is something for everyone as far as the shade range goes. Overall, it is quite a deep, rich palette. So more darks, more like really rich colors. I would say that this palette is more geared to more evening or even just deeper looks. You could definitely do daytime looks out of it, but you're kind of gonna be limited because a lot of the shades in this are quite deep. Let's move into actually creating a look with this. So let's take the shade Ashes. Yeah, you can see there quite a lot of kickback when you do pick it up these are very softly pressed just something to bear in mind don't go in like crazy hard uh because you will end up with powder everywhere basically i'm gonna blend this one through whoa that's actually quite pigmented for a taupe uh and really easy to blend too actually normally taupes can be like a little patchy that's why i was like there's a matte taupe let's see if it's actually any good so just working this one through the crease this is going to add a bit of a shadow and just sort of act as like a bit of a transition shade as you can see that color is quite deep going in with sun rose now this is that warmer matte brown and i'm just very gently skimming that over the top of that transition shade so it kind of goes from cool to warm and then blends out into the brow bone. Going into Noble now, this is the deep chocolatey brown. Okay, taking Noble now, the deep chocolatey brown. I'm gonna pack that one in the outer corner. I'm not gonna do any blending yet. First, we're sort of just like loading that color up and then we'll come back and blend after. I'm pretty much trying to use all of the colors that would be the hardest to work with so that I can give you guys the best idea of whether or not it's worth the money. <laughs> I will say that is packing on very nicely. Yeah, guys, I will say for a deep dark matte brown, 
That blends out really nicely, actually. The shade here, Haze, is probably my favorite from all of the swatches, so let's try this one out. It's so soft. The texture of this is so soft and buttery too. Like, it feels wet when you are touching it. It's very, very intense. Let's see how this goes. I mean, look at that pigment. You guys, that is stunning. It's so pretty. It definitely looks like a crushed metal. This one is pressed very softly as well. So only a tiny little bit of pressure is needed when you are dipping your finger into the pan. And I'm pretty much focusing this one right on the center of the lid. I'm kind of up in arms. Do I want to do a dark smoky inner corner or a bright inner corner? Fair bit of fallout with that one, but for such a softly pressed, intense metallic shimmer, I really would expect that. So I'm not like you know, necessarily too bummed about it, if that makes sense. And then I feel to finish this one off, let's try out this insanely intense, this one's like a pearlescent, almost like a cross between a gold and a green. I'm gonna try this one first on a dry brush just to see what happens. Yeah, it's a little chunky, quite chunky when you use it with a dry brush. We'll try a wet brush next. And this one's got the same texture as that last shadow, like it's almost, <gasps> okay, wet brush is where it's at. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> you get a lot of pigment coming up if you wet your brush first. But it does have the same texture as that last one haze that we used. It's a very, very, very soft. It feels wet in the pan. Like even though it's a dry eyeshadow, you could be mistaken for thinking it was a cream shadow. So applying that on the inner corner and blending and sort of fading that into that really pretty like smoky bronze color on the center of the lid there. For the lower lash line, I'm going back in with sun rose and I might even keep it light under here and see what we think little bit of fallout but not too bad okay I'm gonna quickly chuck some mascara on and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back with my final thoughts all right guys so this is how my makeup came out I just did like a nude lip some matte cheeks Overall, I do think that this is a really pretty eyeshadow look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like I'm ready for like a date night kind of a vibe. Now, as far as my final thoughts on this palette go, I do think this is a really nice palette, but if you've already got these tones or you've already got some of these other palettes, I feel like maybe you don't necessarily need it. I've already shown you it in comparison to the Nouveau palette. So I do think probably if you've got this, you're gonna be able to create most of the same looks with this as you were with this. But also the newest Pat McGrath palette. This one is the Moonlit Seduction. Not entirely the same, but quite similar color palette. Like if you look at the two of these side by side, they do look fairly similar. So if you've already shelled out all of the cash for this one, you may not need this one. And then I also wanted to show you it in comparison with the ABH Sultry palette. Again, similar-ish, like lots of rich metallics and sort of taupey browns, um, similar sort of vibes. Like if you've already got this, you're probably gonna be able to create any look with this. But at the same time, the packaging is beautiful. The formula is really beautiful. I didn't have any issues blending any of the shades that I worked with. They are all very rich and buttery, very pretty colors. I personally will definitely be continuing to use this palette. I can see myself reaching for it on, you know, nights when I wanna go out, when I want a really bold eyeshadow look. I wouldn't be reaching for this for a daytime neutral kind of an eyeshadow look. Like there's plenty of other palettes that I'd probably grab first. Name the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette from ABH. But if you love the look of these tones and you're into this overall color palette, you won't be disappointed with the formula of this. But as always, I would love to know your thoughts on this new palette. Do you like the way that it looks? Do you find it a little bit boring? Are you hyped? Also, any other eyeshadow palettes you want to see reviewed? I have seen the new Huda Beauty one. I'm on the wait list. They kicked me off their PR list a long time ago, so I don't have it early. <laughs> Apparently, I'm too honest. And they didn't like it. Oh well. <laughs> but I am going to order that one and review it for you guys. But let me know any other palettes you want to see a review on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I love you heaps and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!